Good Sunday afternoon, everyone. This is Daniel Crawley, Foothills Action Network. Hope you've had a great weekend across Western North Carolina. Uh, the weather's been pretty nice for the most part, a bit on the chilly side, which is, you know, pretty common for this time of year as we are in late January. Coming up this coming week across the region, um, going to be more active across uh, the Carolinas and across a good part of the south as we're going to have a couple storm systems move through the region and will give us some precipitation uh monday and then again toward the middle part of the week so let's kind of go in and talk about that before we go into the forecast part of it just talk about today and what's happening temperatures are pretty average for this time of the year uh upper 40s to around 50 degrees these are the temperatures as of about 3 30 p.m on sunday you can see uh our area anywhere from about 48 to about 52 degrees depending on where exactly you are across the foothills of western piedmont as we zoom out, you can see what's happening across a good part of the country. There is a real dividing line roughly along Interstate 40. To the north, across the northern tier of the country, you have cold Arctic air, which really is very common for this time of year. And across the southern part of the country, you have um, some resistance. You have some warmer, milder air. Uh, we have an area of high pressure aloft over the uh, southern tier of the country, really uh centered over the Gulf of Mexico and Western Caribbean, but it's kind of flexing its muscles and then moving into the southeast. We're going to see that at times this week, even in our part of the country, as we could see some milder temperatures on a couple of days. And then the temperatures, the colder weather to the north is going to try to flex its muscles as well. So we're really, like I said, a huge battleground for the Carolinas as we head into this week. Let's go into the model data and I'll show you what's happening as we head into tomorrow and i'm looking at the latest uh three kilometer now let me pull it up here here we go zoom in and it's kind of showing you what's happening right now not a lot of precipitation but things are really going to pick up uh overnight tonight and into monday and you can see what's going on here an area of low pressure is developing across the southern plains and as we head into the early hours of Monday morning, you're generally going to have an area of low pressure here. You can see the snow back over the plains, but a warm front is going to extend all the way across the uh, lower Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, and into the Carolinas. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to have clouds and precipitation across the region. Let's zoom in a little bit more on the Western Carolinas and kind of see how this precipitation is going to evolve. This is at 7 a.m., and you can see precipitation. Uh, moving into the region, there may be some some light uh, returns overnight tonight, but uh, more steady precipitation moves in around 7 a.m., and that will last through the morning and into the early afternoon hours. Then what's essentially happening is the warm front is going to get to our north, which means milder air is moving in, and it will also kind of lose the focus on the rainfall. So as we get into Monday afternoon, it will probably be a little bit more showery, maybe some uh, some mist and drizzle at times instead of a steady rain. And that is going to continue through the entire day on Monday. And then once we head into Monday evening, you can actually see a uh, cold front that's moving east of the Mississippi River, and that will help spark some more showers and uh, rainfall as we head into Tuesday. And let's kind of look at that. Uh, looking at the European right quick, you can see the area of low pressure over the plains. The warm front by Monday evening has moved north into the Ohio Valley. And right here is essentially a cold front moving along the Mississippi River. As we head into Tuesday and the Tuesday morning, you can see that moisture is moved into the Carolinas. This will not be very strong as far as heavy rainfall, but some scattered showers are going to be possible for the first part of Tuesday. Now, instead of just clearing the entire region out, what's going to happen is the flow aloft is going to remain out of the west-southwest. So the precip, while it will leave our region on Tuesday, it will not be very far to our south. It'll be uh, basically along Interstate 20 as you head into the deep south. And what's going to happen as we head into Wednesday, this is Wednesday morning, we're already seeing a return flow once again of moisture coming from the south to west. So by Wednesday, we're going to start seeing more rainfall into the region, a pretty uh, stout upper level disturbance moving across the uh, the Midwest, and it will dip down into the lower high valley across the central Appalachians. 
where if you're in West Virginia or Virginia, you could get a pretty good snow event out of this, especially on Thursday. And what will eventually happen is an area of low pressure on Thursday will develop off the North Carolina or Virginia coastline. Uh, the precip will be out of our region by Thursday. We feel like it'll dry out pretty quick. Uh, our mountains may see a little bit of moisture early Thursday, and that could fall in the form of snow. So overall, we have two bouts of precipitation. This first storm for Monday, maybe a few intermittent showers on Tuesday, and then late Wednesday into the very early morning hours of Thursday, that next storm system will move into the region that will give us a decent amount of rainfall. Now, looking at the rainfall amounts as we head through uh, Thursday evening, it looks like generally between a half inch and about one inch of rain across the region. Now, you've probably noticed that uh, we've not had as much rain here in January compared to the previous months um, as uh, things have slowed down. So this will be beneficial. Um, not that we're in any drought by any stretch of imagination, but things have dried out a little bit over the past few weeks, especially when you start thinking about the cold Arctic air that's been in the region and the lack of rainfall. It's dried out that top layer of the soil pretty quick. So this will be welcome rainfall as we head into the week. So just something to keep an eye on. If you're going to be in the region this week, we'll have a couple chances of rain. And then uh, temperatures, which ironically, Tuesday, with the uh, first system passing through, we'll actually warm up. Temperatures could reach 70 degrees in a few spots in our region. So um, a very La Nina-like pattern, a very indicative of the uh, southeast ridge that we've showed earlier in this video. But then the second part of the week, we'll have more rainfall, and then the cold air will try to flex its muscles toward next weekend. Uh, leading the temperatures back to around normal or just below normal. So that's what we have coming up this week weather-wise across the region. As always, check out our uh, updated forecasts daily um, on our website, foothillsweather.net. Check out our Facebook pages and Twitter for the latest weather information.